Hey guys, Armagun here tonight with a bit of a treat from Primary Weapon Systems. This is their Mark 107 Mod 2, dubbed the Diablo. This thing is a 7.75 inch barrel, chambered in 5.56. This thing is a fire breathing heathen. And their uh, their proprietary, um, well it fits on anything anything that has the right threads, but uh, that uh, CQB compensator, pretty cool little unit there. Nothing really does help tame the fire on this thing, the fireball. Anyways, we're gonna kick this thing out because we're gonna get it ready for our week. We're gonna do an overview on this thing. This is the gun of the week coming up, so we're gonna explore it in greater detail. We're gonna do the overview. Then we're gonna do a first person style shooting video like we always do. Then we're gonna disassemble this thing. You guys are gonna get to see inside because inside this thing, it is basically an AK. This thing, uh, Dean Sylvester, primary weapons, who's the owner of primary weapon systems, their history, their roots are in AKs. AK Concepts was an original company of theirs. They brought in the Yugo underfolders and uh, did kits and did, did builds on those in the, in the mid 2000s. They brought the AK platform to the AR, which is really cool. So we'll dig inside there and I'll show you guys how that, uh, how that functions. And with the adjustable gas block, that's part of the key, the magic to make this whole thing work. He does some really cool stuff with uh, the enhanced dwell time in this thing as well. So. All kind of good stuff. Anyways, let's run through what we got for upgrades here. We're gonna kick things off with swapping out this Magpul CTR with a SOP mod by LMT. Really nice stock there. I wish I had a different grip here. I don't. I don't have one. This is a six hour. It's a nice grip, but uh, I don't. The, the angle is a bit too swept back for me. I would prefer a Magpul K2 Plus or an Ergo Deluxe. Just don't have one here today. Um, the end plate ratcheting buffer tube. That stuff's all awesome already. It's all PWS exclusive stuff, which is really cool. The uh, selector, a 90 degree by LMT. I'm going to swap that out with a Battle Arms Development 45 degree. I love 45 degree safeties, and Battle Arms makes a sweet little selector. Next up, we're going to buy Radiant Raptor. We're going to throw this guy in, get rid of this factory. Actually, to be fair, from the factory, these things do come with Radiants, but uh, this one, well, she didn't have a she didn't have a Radiant on her, so we're going to throw a Radiant on her. Do that justice. We're going to swap out the Bolt Catch with a Maritime by Geisley. Then we're gonna to top it off with, uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna throw this on the side, make use of this awesome uh, pick mod rail. Gonna throw an Inforce weapon mounted light on there, and then top it all off with a hammer by Loophole. This is the high accuracy multi range rifle scope. Very cool little system. I'm so sad they discontinued these things because this thing is a gem. And then again, uh, because it already has this awesome PWS CQB muzzle device on there. We're not even gonna bother with this capturable tap. That's, just, uh, that's out of the picture for today. Then we might throw a bigger mag on it when we're done by Surefire, but that's uh, that'll be the kit out, so let's uh, let's get into it. All right, quick plug to Rhino Meadows, their Ironworks series, love this safe. This thing is just a beauty. But uh, anyways, back into the primary weapon systems here. So, starting with the butt, let's get this stock off here. These things are always a little bit of a prick to get out. You have to pull this all the way back and then pop it off. Actually, not that bad, just a little bit of a thumb thumb buster. Then that LMT. And again, just take a quick moment to look and appreciate this fluted uh, rifle mill spec stock. They, they mill out so much. They pull off like an ounce off of this thing and that all ratchets into this uh, this cool ratcheting castle nut. Oh, primary weapon systems, Dean Sylvester. That guy is an innovator and I really appreciate that. Six position as well, just looks awesome. So let's toss on this LMT, because LMT is, these are sweet stocks. Oh, there we go. Boom, all right, cool. So actually, I'm playing with this thing now. Let's uh, let's prove this guy clear, which we are, and uh, take a quick look at this beautiful MB bolt release. Okay, and now we're gonna pop this guy apart. We're gonna swap that charging handle, and then I'm gonna pop the lower out. We're gonna get rid of the lower the safety selector and the bolt catch. That, I might just pause and then come back once it's all done because it's a lot of little intricate little things. All right guys, we got all the uh, changes made there. We got the Radian Raptor charging handle in now. These are some of my favorite charging handles using Geisley. Super great. We've got the 45 degree safety selector by Battle Arms Development. Super good as well. And while I was in there, I, uh, Swapped out, I had, a, I had a Battle Arms magazine release as well. An enhanced one there, so I swapped that out as well. Super nice. Just gives you a bit more 
bit more room to reach up on this thing here and just, uh, it's, just, it's quite nice, quite easy to do. And this is the Maritime Catch by Guy. So dropping that. And this is what we replaced. This was the bolt catch by PWS. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, the Maritime just gives you a lot more room to actuate both the bolt catch and the release. So pretty cool there. All right, moving on, let's uh, let's toss on our weapon mounted light. So this, this really cool uh, rail here, it's got, this is key mod. Now I do wish this was M-Lock, that I can, I can grab an M-Lock rail from these guys aftermarket pretty easily. So I think I'm gonna do that. But they make use of this uh, pick lock or pick mod, depending on whether you have M-Lock or pick uh, key mod. But uh, anyways, basically it integrates 1913 rail in there with the key mod. Really flush, really low profile, really low weight. Really cool system. So we're gonna toss this Inforce light right up in here. And uh, right there is gonna be nice, I think. Now nah, let's go all the way up. There we go. Just tighten that guy down. Nice. And that's it, that's pretty slick fit right there. There you go. That is, that is super cool. All right guys, almost done. Let's throw on, let's throw on the Leopold hammer, the Leopold hammer. Let's get that on there. This doesn't have really cutie latches, so we're just gonna have to lock these down, which is simple enough to do. And that'll do it. This is a four by 24 optic, by the way. Nice little unit with a delta point up on top with this uh, protective shroud as well. And that guys, that's your gun. This is pretty slick. This is a really slick little setup, honestly. Really, really nice. Really digging all these controls. Let's toss a uh, 60 round Surefire magazine in there. These coffin mags are really cool. Or, how about a hundo? And uh, that's ridiculous. I love it. Oh, I love it. With that, guys, I'm going to leave you guys for the night. We're going to again explore this guy all week long. We're going to do the shooting video, the overview, get you some good history on the company as well, and a takedown so you can see inside that thing because it is pretty cool. Thanks, ton, guys. Arm and gun out.